yeah. Okay, you don't actually need shot tracers for all of these shots because you can see the flight. So a lot of these dinky drivers are hitting the back now. There are a few shot tracers where Ollie doesn't film it, but most of them are right. So this is 230 yards I've got here for this par three. And uh, this is obviously six iron, as hard as I can hit it, slightly downwind. And this is why like, in some of the videos where I say I'm just hitting little ones and hitting little ones, that's because like when I hit it hard and full, um, I sound like a bit of a knob there, don't I? But that's like the yardage is if I go like all out at one. Um, but anyway, this finish like pin hide just right of the green. Had a, a lie that was set up and expecting it to be quite soft. And then um, got a bit bouncy underneath. So not a very good wedge shot. Well, obviously it's crap in it. I mean, to be pin eye, at least give yourself a putt for birdie. Um, technically I'm putting, but mm. yeah, just a bit of work to do for birdie there. Yeah, let me know in the comments if, you, if, if you've done this before. I, I used to do this a lot and uh, it's always good fun. So we've got 450 yard par four. This is literally D height, as Leon would say, um, with, with the XP of. Um, left myself 150 yards into this, into this hole. Um, 150 to the middle, this is 160 to the flag. Uh, windows across on the left, so I'm just trying to hit a little drawy, holdy six iron up there against it. Obviously this is like a nine iron really, eight, a little eight iron or a nine iron. And, Hit a little six iron in there, just got a bit through. This was sat um, with a tuft behind it um, on a down slope. So I was pretty happy with that, to be fair, because it's very quick down there. Give myself a good chance for par. I will say again, the scoring is not great, but as in like doing this challenge through nine holes at Bobby here, but there, there are some, there are a few like cool shots. So it's worth watching, worth watching for that. And this is what this is about, really. This is 190. This is what this is about: is just getting out there, just challenge yourself to hit different shots. And I think it's just enjoyable. Like I, I, I'm getting. I don't think that comes yeah. out. Let's just talk about this lie. I'll do it again. So I tried to get out of this, as you can see. And it ends up in probably equally as bad a position. It's a good effort. <laughs> Just down there behind those fingers. That's in there. That is juicy. Yeah, ain't moving out of that. Little drop out of the uh, sprinkler. Gave this a go. I left myself a putt for bogey, double bogey. Um, I have played that pro-am today. Um, Minchin Hampton shot one over. Um, a very windy Minchin Hampton is the first time I saw it today as well. So um, game's definitely looking in, like it's moving in a better direction scoring wise since um, me and Ryan had a bit of a chat about the direction that my game's going. Um, I'm gonna talk about that in the vlog before Jamiga starts next week because Jamiga starts next week so the tournament rounds are back next week. Um, but as I said, I've got a club to show you and I want to talk about my game as a whole, which will come probably over the weekend, maybe Sunday. So six down off the tee, left myself, how far did it was? 84 yards. Hit an okay wedge shot. Hit a good putt. This is two rounds in a row. So this is 280, 277. So I'm just trying to hit low drive. Look at the rough before the tee. See the rough just in front of the tee. See the ball fly through it. I didn't realize it was Get down low. so high. Um, so I'm just trying to hit that dinky little low cutty one up there. <laughs> it went through the top of the grass. <laughs> <laughs> it just left this massive track and uh, took all the power of it. So I had 90 yards in here into wind I'm um, obviously got my 60, just trying to like back foot one. Get one turning a bit. Hit a pretty good shot. 
just uh, landed just like three places short of that tier. We needed to give it a bit more. Um, left myself a long putt up the hill. This is all of, I don't know, like 30. Yeah, it's all 30 foot. Not the best pace control. Yeah, as well, let me know if you're looking forward to tournament rounds. I've literally got five Jamigas to finish the season before um, I hopefully go to South Africa. And then I'm hoping to get tournament rounds filmed like every single week on the IGT tour out there. Um, so if you're looking forward to those, let me know in the comments. So this is a um, par four dog leg left 390. We'll see six on off the tee. Just get him on down there, little hold up one. Struck nice. And I left myself 150. Now this is like downwind off the right. So this is having to be a baby six iron up onto this tiered green. And it's landed, yeah, it's landed on the top. You've got to land that, if you're hitting that, you've got to land that probably about five paces short and you might have a chance to keep that on the green. Because they are pretty firm at the moment. Um, this is one of those lies that this is funny actually so this is like tufty into I'm just trying to get a feel for how it's playing so this is like high hands toe in the ground play it back and just really didn't commit to this Ryan come out and actually watched me play the last few holes from here it's so funny so I hit this chip obviously badly just didn't come out and then I was like, Ryan, how would you play this? And he was like, yeah, exactly the same, mate. Just like a bit further back in my stance. And he just hold it. <laughs> just like rolled it in. And I was like, okay, yeah, cheers, mate. But anyway, knocked it down there. <clears throat> As I said, the score isn't right. That good. Knocked it in. So this is, it's got the scorecard here. Three, three, one. Quite tight up the top. So I have to really hit like a fade into this fairway to hold it up. Hit a nice shot here, just low cut over the stone. And left myself about 45 yards, maybe 50. Just trying to play like a low hands, hands back. Nice little high lofty one. And I definitely did not have that shot, like even six months ago. Like, that, could have, that could have been a hand bomb. One of Flower's nine yet windows. Um, but it's looking pretty good now. Made a birdie putt. Uh, this is 369, so it's either hit driver over the tree, um, but it's what I've just fancied like hooking a six iron around there. Seeing how far I could get this down into the wind. This started to be like 30 yards right. And then hook back into play. Um, had 150 downhill, this is 145 with the elevation into wind. So it's like a little hold off cut. And this is this is actually really nice. Oh, I don't know why I'm making those. <coughs> there he is. So aim this foot outside the edge, and it moved a fair bit. Maybe aimed a bit further outside the edge there, to be fair. But putt for par, and then we've got 18, which is what is it off the backs 433 yards so there's no room for driver so i'm just trying to hit six on as hard as i can down here to see what yardage i can leave myself so i've hit that really hard that's probably swinging about 107 108 mile an hour i'd say and i hit that about 240 so i left myself 190 so the pin is in fact just listen to the green that the left one the left one, that's the middle of the green. So yeah, the shot, the only shot you can actually get moving into this when it is down off, down off the right is like a trying to hit a soft high draw of a six iron. And that's what Ryan was saying. And that is, Ryan was like, this is the shot. I don't know if you want to try and play it. And I was like, let's just do it. I wish you could shot trace this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was that was nice so it landed sort of back of the green and uh, a little roll down there and then the putt for par uh, playing St Melian tomorrow so a course vlog coming yeah, with Tyler um, 
who's a really good player. St. Melian's going to be brutal. We're going to just go head to head, get it filmed so we can just concentrate on the game and I'm going to commentate like this. Um, that's going to be coming soon and then, yeah, the club delivery and then we have Jamiga. That's confirmed.